guys we got all of our stingray chopped up this is our bigger pieces right here cut into like little finger size deals i'll throw them in some water just help get a little bit of blood out all right thank you sir these are our smaller pieces that we're going to use for the ceviche and all we're going to do is chop them up into little pieces and this is going to be about somewhere between a quarter inch cubed and uh half an inch cube, something like that. You don't want big pieces because you want to make sure that the, the acid of the, the limes will cook the fish. Just got a little bit of skin left on it. So we're going to chop all this up and we're going to squeeze lemons over it and mix it with tomatoes, onions, cilantro. Got all that chopped up. We're ready now to take limes. You can see we got it all chopped up. We're ready now to take limes and squeeze lime juice on there. I can't tell you exactly how many limes you need because it depends on how much stingray meat you have. And you can do this with uh, fish, any type of fish. I wouldn't recommend red fish. Uh, flounder's real good. But all you're gonna do is take the limes. So now we got our lime juice in there. Probably put a little bit more. You don't want it to be covered in lime juice, but this isn't, this isn't going to be cooked. So the acid of the lime juice is what's going to cook this. So you want it to have quite a bit of juice in there. So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more. Um, we don't have a whole lot in there. Probably put juice of one or two more in there, and that'll be it. So this is about what we're looking for. It's not quite swimming in it, but there's quite a bit of lime juice in there, and a little bit of that will be absorbed. If you see any pieces that still have skin on them, the pieces are still pretty big. You're gonna want to cut that skin off. And you'll notice as this cooks, it'll start turning white. So we're going to put this covered in the refrigerator for about 30, 45 minutes. And then we'll take it out and see what it looks like. Mix it up real good. And my dog is Drake.
Nice. You're gonna wanna let that sit in there for 30, 45 minutes, mix it up. Another 30, 45 minutes, we'll put up, put the rest of the stuff in there, see how it tastes. See y'all then. All right, well, our Stingray is done marinating. If you look at it right here, it's more white. It does look kind of gross, but that's just the way it looks because um, the blood that comes out of the, the Stingray. But this is now cooked by the lime juice. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna chop up cilantro, a purple onion. We got two jalapenos. I see them personally because wife and kids don't like high stuff, hot stuff, but you don't have to see them. And some tomatoes we're gonna chop up. And we're gonna use probably about half of what's here. Um, and chop it all up as far as the exact amount of everything make it to your liking and it's going to depend on how much meat you have so I can't give you exact measurements or anything like that. So I'm going to chop this up and mix it all together and let y'all see what the end product looks like. Generally speaking, we do not use cherry tomatoes. But this is what we have in my house right now, so this is what we're using. There's a lot more chopping involved. You have to cut up all the little tomatoes. All that chopped up, now we're gonna mix it. What I like to do, and you don't have to, is with the jalapenos, if you let this marinate a little bit, which we're gonna let marinate, this will marinate for, oh, probably 30 minutes like this. And it'll, the salt will allow some of those vegetables to sweat. But I like to put just a little bit of pineapple juice in it, and it gives a little sweet taste to it. Or you could chop up pineapple and put it in there You too. can put fresh pineapple or mango. You don't need very much, just a splash. Shake it up, and we're gonna refrigerate this for about 30 minutes, and we'll see you then. Mmm, smells delicious. Let's hope it tastes good and smells. I know it will. Our ceviche is done. It's been marinating now for about another 30 minutes. Let all the flavors kind of mingle together. Get a big scoop here. I like with saltines. You can eat it with saltine crackers or uh, tortilla chips. Either one is just fine. And a lot of times I eat it with uh, sliced avocado. Just put a little piece of avocado on it. But The best part is, 
very clean, very fresh. It's a great snack to have out on the boat. It's hot, very refreshing. With the, uh, all the fresh ingredients, the tomatoes, and make sure you keep it cold is the main thing. But this is absolutely delicious. with us tomorrow we'll be on the beach you gotta try it out tell me how you like it well let me know your favorite ceviche recipes i'll see y'all next week